All right, we're continuing with our big idea for data. Collecting, displaying, and analyzing data helps us to solve problem, problems and understand the real world. Our concept today is to demonstrate an understanding of conducting an experiment to collect data and then drawing conclusions based on that data. All right, so we have an example here. Just beer and summer wanted to answer this question. Does doubling the height of the ramp double the distance a toy car travels. To find out, they let a toy car roll down a ramp of a height of 10 centimeters, then measured the distance the car traveled from the end of the ramp. Then the students doubled the height of the ramp to 20 centimeters, then to 40 centimeters. They did three trials for each height of the ramp and, the re and recorded the results. Now three trials is a really good idea in case something goes wrong once or twice um, and then you can have between the three a good set of information so you have a good idea of whether or not the car was uh, traveling properly. So here we have their results. Um, so as you can see here's their ramp or their height, their ramp and then they measured from the end of the ramp the distance the vehicle traveled. So at 10 centimeters, trial number one was 60 centimeters traveled, trial number two, 58 centimeters, and trial number three, 61 centimeters. So about 60 centimeters is, is pretty average for the information we have here. Um, at 20 centimeters, which is double the height, trial one, 118, trial two, 120, trial three, 121. So again, about 120. Is that doubled? Well, 60 times 2 is 120, so at this point it looks like their uh, hypothesis is correct. Let's look at 40 centimeters. So 40 centimeters is double 20. Trial number 1, 235 centimeters. Trial number 2, 241 centimeters. Trial number 3, 238 centimeters. A little bit less, 238 or so. Um, but it is still fairly close if the height of the ramp was doubled to 40 centimeters, so 120 centimeters was our 20 centimeter distance times 2 would be about 240. They're pretty close to 240. So, I mean, some of them are a little bit over, some of them are a little bit more or less, but generally speaking, their hypothesis seems pretty reasonable from this data. So they could conclude that doubling the height of the ramp doubles the distance of the, that the toy car travels. All right, so to practice with your elbow partner or your group, how long does it take a grade six student to write the alphabet backwards? Do you think it's about 30 to 44 seconds, 45 to 60 seconds, or more than 60 seconds? Predict the answer to the question above. Explain your prediction. Pause and do your prediction now. All right, so predictions, remember, need to be done before the experiment, so you have to have done your prediction. Now, design your experiment. Decide how you're going to conduct your experiment with your elbow partners. What are you going to do to conduct that experiment? You need to have grade six students writing the alphabet backwards, so from Z all the way to A. Um, and you need to somehow be timing it because you have to have a time in seconds by the end of it. So what are you going to do to design your experiment? Go ahead and press pause and do that now. All right, so with the design of your experiment, you should have some sort of a timing device. You should have a grade six student and probably more than one Okay, so choose a couple people in your group if you haven't already. Um, and then go ahead and conduct your experiment. Have both members start or one member, well not one, let's go with two. Have at least two members start, perhaps more. And writing the alphabet backwards, timing yourself in seconds to see what it ends up being. Go ahead and, create, and conduct your experiment. All right, once you have your results, use the data you collected to answer the question above. So was it about 30, 30 to 44 seconds, 45 to 60 seconds, or more than 60 seconds? 
that would depend on your data. So would be various answers for different groups. Um, are there any other conclusions you can make from your data? Looking at the data you collect with your group, is there anything else you could say? All right, so that is an example of conducting an experiment to collect data. You are going to be working on page 257, numbers 1, 2, and 4, and you are going to be conducting experiments to collect data and to draw conclusions. Uh, if at any point along the way you have questions, please remember to ask.